Okay, today we will uh, learn one of the most useful functions in uh, Excel, which is the offset function. So we'll use this uh, this uh, data that we have here to learn it. Uh, but first, let me tell you what this offset function does. Uh, the offset function is actually used to create a reference to a range that is a specified number of rows and columns away from a cell or a range of cells. So, so what you do, do to create a reference to a range of cells is that you first specify a reference cell and then you have to tell Excel the number of rows and columns away from the reference cell that you want to create your range. Okay, uh, so so you know using the offset function, you can create a reference to a cell range that contains uh, two rows and three columns, and let's say begins uh, you know uh, four rows and and five columns to the right, and uh, you know uh, four rows to the to uh, you know above the current cell or below the current cell, and let's say five columns to the right or to the left of the current cell. So uh, that is what you can achieve using uh, offset. So now let's see how it how it works. So uh, we'll go to let's say a blank cell here and type offset, okay? And as I give the left bracket, I can see the syntax here. So it says reference rows, columns, and then the last two height and width are optional parameters. So the first one reference is a cell okay or a range of cells from which the offset begins okay now uh, what we'll do is we'll first learn with a reference to a cell and then we'll kind of uh, see what is a reference to a range of cell so let's say I, I refer to this okay b2 so my reference the first parameter is b2 and then it is rows and I say well I say one okay which means rows one says that you are instructing offset to go down one row from the reference cell right so it's going down one row so I started row two I started at row two by saying one I'm instructing offset to move down one row and reach three. Okay. Now for columns. So when I say columns, uh, let's say two, I'm instructing offset to move two columns to the right. So I started from B, two columns to the right is C, D. So it's now in D, correct? And then height and width, optional. Now, if I uh, do not provide height and width, it will take the height and width of the reference cell. So, B2, the height and width of reference cell is 1 each. So, the height is 1, the width is 1. So, if I just say stop here and don't provide the other two, it means the height and width of the destination cell is also 1 each. Now, what happens here is this. So, I start from B2, move down one row, move two columns to the right. So, I reach D3 here, which is 7. Now, if I press enter, this is what you get. D, uh, the answer is 7. Excel returns or offset returns 7. Now, what if I provide height and width? Let's say I provide, well, uh, 2 height, height 2, width 2 which means after reaching D3, right, one row, two columns, after reaching D3, now I'm saying select a range which is of height 2 and width 2, which means this is what is selected. So height 2 and width 2, okay. Now if I go and uh, just press, um, you know, enter, so I get an error because of course Excel cannot uh, you know uh, display all these numbers here 
but then of course I can go and do a sum right I can do a sum here and and I press enter I see the answer is 38 which is 7 plus 8 plus 12 plus 11 right so this is how the offset function will work now if I go back to this formula here and let's say I start this time from um, let's say C4 or, or maybe D4 so I start from D4 okay and then for row I write minus 2 okay minus 2 and for column I write minus 1 okay and let the height and width be 2 each now what happens here is that I start from D4 and since it's minus 2 I now move up instead of moving down so I move up 1 2 move up 2 rows 1 2 and reach row 2 okay and then I get minus 1 as columns which means I'm now I'll be now moving one column to my left and not to the right so I move one column to the left and reach C so now I am in C2 okay now once I reach C2 once I reach C2 and if you look at the height and width it says 2 2 which means I have asked Excel to select this range 2 height 2 width starting from C2 and and if you just add these numbers 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 6 it is 18 so it returns this range so that is what uh, offset function does so a positive uh, positive number for rows means it goes down a negative number means it moves up a positive number for columns means moves to the right a negative number means moves to the left okay uh, if you do not provide any uh, any um, values for the last two um, uh, last two parameters it means it will take the height and width of the reference cell okay otherwise as you have seen uh, if you provide these uh, numbers it will uh, accordingly uh, select the range that you have specified so that's what the offset function does now let's look at uh, what we mean when we refer to a range of cells so for example here I was referring to B2 or, or you know D4 so always referring to a cell what if I refer to a range of cells let's say B2 to B3 okay B2 to B3 and then I say uh, you know move move two rows down and maybe two columns to uh, the the right okay so move two columns okay two rows to the two, two rows down and two columns to the right okay and then let's say I do not provide height and width okay and then I get an error right which means multiple uh, I get uh, the, the, the offset function has returned multiple numbers which cannot be obviously displayed here so let's see the function again so B2 to B3 so B2 to B3 this is my range right I say move down two rows so it moves from B2 correct then C2 sorry B2 B3 and reaches B4 correct reaches B4 and then I'm asking Excel to move two columns to the right so again one and two so it has reached 11 so it has reached 11 here correct now if you want to see what happens if I provide 1 and 1 then you see you get 11 so we our our uh, this this two rows and columns are working as we expected to work now if you remove these two it means it means the height and width will be the diff will be the value of the range that you have selected now the height of B2 to B3 is 2 right the height of B2 to B3 is 2 the width is 1 which means at 11 it will try to select 
a range of height 2 and width 1 which means it's trying to select 11 and this so d4 and d5 of course you have nothing in d5 now here if you do a sum correct if you do a sum you get 11 correct or else one other thing that you can do is you remove the sum correct and then you maybe uh, write let's say 3 here and then if you kind of uh, do this again sum this you see the answer is 14 so with the range of cells okay it works as you would expect with one single cell but the height and width if you do not provide the height and width would be the height and width of the reference cell so whatever the whatever the reference range is that will be the height and width of that okay now let's 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 use the offset function again let's say I use it here equals to offset okay offset I start from uh, B2 then I move let's say one row down correct and then maybe one column to my uh, right so at this point I am at C3 okay height I give as 2 and let's say the width is 3 okay which means I have asked offset to return this range okay now if you want to check that again you can simply go and write sum before offset and check it is 54 so 6 plus 7 plus 8 and 10 11 12 you add you get 54 now one interesting uh, application of offset could be that you use what is returned by offset as a parameter for other functions like index, VLOOKUP or MATCH and so on and so forth. So here let's use uh, offset function as the table array for HLOOKUP. So I'll write H lookup, okay? H lookup, and I say seven. And table array is the range that offset returns. Now I go and say row index number is two, range lookup is zero or false. Now the answer I get is eleven, which is this. So I'm looking. So here is the range. Here is the range. I'm using age lookup and said look for seven. So it's looking for seven and so return what is there in the second row, which is eleven. So that is how offset can serve as a table array for age lookup or v lookup and so on. So now if you make it ten, you'll get twelve. If you change this to six, you get ten and so on. Right? So that that, that makes it a very, very useful function. And, and as you can understand, if I change these numbers here, my table array for each lookup will change. So there's there's a lot of lot of stuff that you can you can do with this uh, offset function. Okay.